Hello guys, welcome back to 1878 Blues. This is a long awaited match preview for any game for Everton. Uh, it's been over a week and a half, I think, now since we drew Liverpool 0 0. Um, we had the Arsenal game cancelled due to the Queen um, passing away just over a week ago now, I think. Um, so now we've got West Ham at home. Um, a game that I really think, like, I've not been concerned about us not picking up a win so far it would have been nice there was some couple you know, there's quite a few games where i thought we could have got more out of but i'm just thinking progress at the moment and just a steady ship at the club because i don't want anything like last season um even though the ending was brilliant but it wasn't worth the uh the heart issues i dealt with throughout the whole of the year um this game if we don't win it against West Ham, who are struggling at the moment, as we know, um, will be a big concern for me. Now, Frank Lampard said in his, uh, his post -con um, pre-match conference uh, that we can't just think that because they're in a bad run of form, you know, we can't, you know, we, we should just be beating them. But, you know, we're not much higher ourselves, but I think we've been a lot better than obviously what we've been used to seeing from Everton. But um, just because of the form of West Ham, it doesn't mean they're still not a good team. They are a very good team. And I'm not saying we should be beating them, but it gets to a point that you're going to have to start winning games. Um, and it really doesn't truly feel like we've kicked off our season. It feels strange. Like, I know we have. We play. We've got points. But we've not won a game, and I've always and we as Everton fans, we're so used to most of the time winning our first game of the season, or at least our second or third. And you kick off your season, and you just feel like, yeah, one wins out the way. We've beaten someone, you know. We've got the better end of someone. Um, now we can go from here and try and get a little streak together. Um, and we have got a streak, an unbeaten streak of four or five games in all competitions. Um, Four, four draws and one win. Yes, we've won a game, but it was in the League Cup against um, Fleetwood. So, like I said, it still doesn't feel like we've we've gone off to a start and we can kick on. You know what I mean? Um, and I think with West Ham, we've got you've got to look at the form. No matter what what goes on with how good the actual squad is and you know what they've done for the past few years, we've got to look at it that we can beat these and. You know, we are capable of beating them. And I think with the additions of Dominic Calvert-Lewin in the match day squad, you know, he's probably going to be on the uh, bench. But it's a positive for us. Um, and he could come on and cause a threat and score a goal. But, you know, we're just going to have to see. But we need we need to um, we need to win this game because I don't, I don't, I'd be a bit worried if he didn't. Um, I can't remember who we've got next after this, but... It just gets tricky for us then, and I don't want us to get in a situation where we're playing very good teams, the high end of the table, and we still haven't won a game. Now, Everton have, you know, doesn't mean we're not going to beat the bigger teams. You know, we can pull a shock out there. You know, every other teams do it. We can, and we have done it in the back end of last season. But, yes, the situation is a lot different. Um, I just think... This is just a game that we can really go right. We've put our stand stand put on this season now. This is our this is our starting point, and um, you know the players like I just have gone again. I was had a lot more training and getting back and used to the squad. Um, <clears throat> Unana, Mope, everyone, everyone's had more time to gel, and I think it's kind of benefit benefited us in a way. To be honest. Um, but, you know, you just want to see us play and just, you know, no matter, regardless of the situation we're going into, into every game and with the opposition, you still just want to see us play. And I just want to see a win because the longer it drags out, I don't want to get to October, you know what I mean, without a win. Um, we've got to beat someone at some point. But, yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm just... Worried that West Ham, because of their form, are going to be really, really defensive and counter-attack us. That's my issue. If West Ham just play how they play, most teams have more possession than us, then I think we'll have a chance. 
But I think when teams sit back, like we've seen a lot throughout the past few seasons, that teams sit back, we struggle to break them down. Um, we're more of a counter-attacking team ourselves because of the lack of quality we have. But from what I've seen this season, we look a lot better on the ball. Everything just looks better. Um, we just look like we have a bit of an identity of what we want to do. Um, we just have to see. We just have to see. But I really don't know who I want. As a well, I do know who I want for starting eleven. I've got a Pickford's out, which is not the worst thing in the sense of he's going to miss the Arsenal game as well. So we're kind of lucky in that respect. And then he all missed the England qualifiers. But listen, I, I couldn't give a fuck if any of our players, like for themselves personally, yes, I would like them to go to the World Cup. But my per self personally, like I can't be like I'd rather just have none of them go. I just saved them for Everton, but. You know, in an ideal world, you know, that would, that would happen, but it's not. Um, but yeah, I think the lineup would be Begovic in goal, um, which isn't a bad second goalkeeper to have, to be honest. Um, right back, Patterson. You've got uh, Cody, Tarkovsky, and then probably, that would probably, and then Michalenko. I just can't see, with the likes of Godfrey and Holgate out, that... Lampard's going to risk putting five at the back with two slow defenders already with an addition to another like Mina or Keane. I just can't see it. I think the only time we'll go five at the back is if Godfrey and... Um, Godfrey and... Holgate are fit. Uh, I mean, you say five and a back, it's, it's relatively like a three in the back and then you've got two wing-backs that are basically more in midfield than defensively, but... Yeah. Um... And then you get your three in the midfield. I would have Onana, just a kind of guy thrown in now. Like he's had one game, he's come on, and he's been trading for a bit now. Uh, he's probably had a lot of sessions. So you know what? I'll just, I'll just fucking throw him in there. The guy looked fucking like he's not missed the Premier League since he's left, and he's not like he's not played a game for a while because I don't think he's played for any games for PSG. And I don't even know if he had a pre-season, but. He just looked like it fit. He just fitted right back in. It was just easy for him. So I'll throw him back in with Onana and Wobi, and, and that's just legs. That's just fucking legs all over. Uh, all three of them could do a bit of attacking and defensive work. It's fucking evident to see, and it's exciting. That for, uh, that that middle three. It's a it's a combination of youth, um, um. Uh, Lack of experience in the Premier League, yes, but he's quite, he's had a few games now, you know what I mean? He's setting himself in Onana. Um, you've got a Wobi who's now found his new position. Um, looking great. He's up there for Mount Match nearly every game for what he just provides for the team. Um, and then you've got just a kind of guy just sweeping everything up and then, you know, possibly going forward himself. And you all can just probably switch it over throughout the game and just give the opposition something to think about. Um Tough one with the wingers because I don't think they relatively played great anyone on the wing. Um and that needs to improve. Um even though they've chipped in with a few goals or something, but in general play it's just not been amazing, but yeah. Um I'll probably I'll probably put Demardi Gray and Gordon. Um I think McNeil offers something different when he comes on. I think he kind of you could do it either way. You can have McNeil to start and you know see if that tactic works of him whipping balls in. He's slower, but he he, he he's like free roams around his area. You know what I mean? He kind of just floats about, um, and you know that could work for us. But obviously, if not, then you put the pace on to to counter attack their tired defenders because they've been playing throughout most of the game. So that's when you can like leap put like a grey on. Um, but yeah, let's see. I feel like I'm missing a winger out, but I can't think. McNeil, Gordon and Gray. We've got Townsend out. Um, I don't think there's anyone else. That's bad if I forgot, if we've got another winger. Um, but yeah, and then Mopay at top. I can't see Dominic Cavalloon starting. I personally wouldn't start him as well. I think I'll just throw Mopay back in. Um, and then, yeah, with the subs, you know, I would even... I don't know what James Garner's like for his fitness and whatnot, but you know, just gonna get, you know, he's gonna eventually get on the bench. Um, and I would like to see him come off, come on for a few minutes, um, and you know, just see what he's all about. And then you've got like Tom Davis and Rondon and all the others on the bench. 
which I first think should be on the bench. I think Tom Davis didn't have a bad game against Liverpool, to be honest, so there is a potential there for him. As we know with Everton, we always seem to get last minute injuries before a game. Um, so that lineup, which I recommend Everton to go for, it could just change, you know. And it could change in the first 10 minutes of the match so and get injured. We all know football's football, but yeah, that's who I'd, that, that's who I'd go for. Um, and yeah, I, I think personally, I think it's hard for me to not see West Ham score. Because I think they've got it in them to score. And I don't think they're as bad as what people make it out them to be at the start of the season. Just like us, we got like heavily criticised for our start. But every Evertonian is probably dead happy with how we started in a sense. Apart from the few games we could have picked up more. But we said that last season. We wasn't in any game. We were just fucking struggling every single game to get anything. Um, Would we pick up a clean sheet again? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go for 3-1. I'm going to go for a safe... It's not really safe, but it's kind of a generic 3-1 score. Um, I think it's going to be tight, close, but there's just going to be moments where we cut them open and we'll punish them. And Yeah, I think it's going to be 3-1. I'm fucking open, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Anyway, um, I'll do a match reaction tomorrow. I'm off for four days of work, so I can fucking watch the game and I can actually review it like near enough straight away. So looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I'm out. See you later.